Well, hello from Australia, everyone. And thanks to the organisers of the conference for asking me to give my thoughts on a couple of key questions facing us today. First of all, what will be the new normal of higher education and international higher education post COVID? Well, don't I wish I knew that answer to that question? Don't we all wish we knew what it meant for us? What I'm hoping for though, is that it, we will see a new normal that for higher education and international higher education, both will be more accessible and more equitable after we've come through these trying times. That means we have to be innovative and think carefully about how we want to proceed and not wait for things to take us with them without having some control over where we go next. So why do I hope that we'll have a new normal? Because I'm concerned that what we have now in international higher education is far too much of a focus on mobility for a minority of students and staff as being the gold standard of international higher education. I think that's led to inequities within nations, within institutions and globally, where we see a mobile elite of students and staff who really set the bar and everybody who doesn't achieve that seems not to make the grade. So let's move away from that and let's think about how we can make internationalization, make global learning and global citizenship a focus for all students, wherever they are in the world and whatever their background, whatever their personal circumstances. So this means, of course, a focus on internationalization of the curriculum, teaching and learning at home, and even more of a focus on the intercultural in that story, in that focus on curriculum. How can we connect more interculturally with the diversity in our own national and institutional contexts? How can we leverage the partnerships that we have with other institutions to bring our students into contact with those who are internationally and interculturally different from themselves. They live in different places, they think differently, they work differently. How can we work with them online and have a virtual exchange, virtual study abroad experience that brings into the classroom all of those subtle nuances of living and working and being in different places in the world. So what does this mean for the new meaning of global learning and global citizens post COVID-19? I hope it means that it will be for all, at home as well as abroad, but the focus is on the home as the global standard, as the gold standard, that will be locally engaged, more locally engaged interculturally and more globally connected in that more people will feel that connection. That will be better for everyone, better for the environment, better for the world. I look forward to that and I hope I can help and work with people to make that happen.